you're at Mary's Manor and tonight we are going to be making homemade sloppy joes so first thing I'm going to do is get two pounds of ground beef, ground chuck, whatever you want this is the 80-20 and I'm going to add some onions in here as well so I'm just going to add some of these frozen onions, I love batch freezing my onions you can tell they look amazing absolutely perfect i got my heat on seven and i'm actually going to turn that up it's about eight because i really want to brown my meat okay while well that's frying up i haven't even turned it yet because i like to get it real crusty on the bottom it brings out the flavor so much more i haven't added any seasonings or anything yet i like to brown my meat up a little bit first make sure that it's got that texture that I like before I start adding my seasonings but when I do add my seasonings this is what I'm going to be adding I'm going to be adding some ketchup three different kinds of mustard this hugo seasoning because I don't have any uh, Worcestershire sauce so I'm going to put a little bit of that in there instead I also don't have any tomato sauce so I'm just going to add these wonderful uh, palmy chopped tomatoes from Italy it's pretty watery so I think it'll work just fine to give it that tomato flavor and yes look at that deal that I got brown sugar and then onion powder salt black pepper garlic powder and I might do some lorry seasoning so if um, I'm feeling that and then after I season it all up then I add my peppers in later so that they still have a little bit of a crunch I also add these two ingredients smoked paprika and I usually have the smoky Montreal seasoning but I just have this one so I might add a little liquid smoke but we'll see how it tastes first okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here I want it to start getting crusty and really well done on, and browned on the bottom you're getting some crispy bits going you're almost I'm almost there not quite but almost and you want to make sure you're, you got your crispy bits going on before you add any liquid. Baby, that smoked paprika, set it off. Set it completely off. And I'm going to get all that up. But if it ain't fried hard, I don't want it. Where's that from? Comment down below if you know where that's from. I added a little bit of water to this container and I'm just been slowly adding it just enough to get those bits of see how clean that is now? That's what I want. I want all that flavor in my food. All that flavor that I built up and created in the beginning. I want that all in my sloppy joe, honey. What do y'all call these? Sloppy joes? Sandwiches? Okay, so I have all my seasoning in here. Everything's ready to go. Scrape it all up. One more bits. So I'm incorporated. Now, I'm going to add my peppers. And my brown sugar. Turn this down. Pretty low. About two. Now I want, I want this to do and get all that flavor combined. Here's another little secret. Is I add the tiniest little splash of apple cider vinegar just to cut anything. That's it. You saw that? That was like literally a splash. Don't do no more than a splash. But you put that little splash in there and you're going to really notice the difference. So I'm going to let this go about 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat, baby. Now this is looking delicious. It smells amazing. 
better than any man witch out the can. You will never go back. Never, ever, ever. I like to eat it with on a bun with cheese, sour cream, and hot sauce on top. And some plain potato chips on the side to scoop. And there you have it. Mary Sloppy Joe's.